Well, we've been battling the weather here for a few days, but we've been getting it done. We got a lot of good kiting in. And uh, pan around and get some of the other guys in here that are some of the students here. And uh, where'd you come in from? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Tell them who you are. George Hines. George Hines. The George Hines, the ladies George and gentlemen. Hines. Yeah, if you watch soap operas, uh, all of my children, uh, General Hospital. I gave that up a long time ago. Yeah, but anyways, and uh, here's some other guys coming in. Tell them who you are. And I'm Barry Wayhall from uh, Millsboro, Delaware. We got him from Delaware. And you? Brad Halcom, Scotts, Michigan. Nice, Michigan. And where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He, di he didn't have very far to come. He nope. should be flying with me every weekend. He's only 45 minutes away from me at our Newton Falls Field. Now, he bought this unit used and came in. It's been sitting for a while. Uh, it's running. Uh, we had to change the fuel filter out on it because it's been sitting. And I think the carburetor's eh, just a little bit gummed up because the guy didn't drain the fuel out of it. But still, man, starting on the first and second pole, that's one thing. But uh, has, it's been having a little bit of problem idling. Uh, so we're going to probably clean out that car, but other than that, it seems to be running pretty good. And uh, you nervous? No, I'm ready to go. Really? Your confidence level's high? Yeah. And you, are, you, are you an American soldier? Marine. Marine. Soldiers That's why. There, there's your answer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your service. And this guy, you're going tonight, too. Everybody's going to be making their first flight tonight. Uh, everybody's got their units out on the field. One, two, three, four, five, six people going to be making their flights tonight. And did, did we get you? Did we get you in there? Get oh, him in there. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm Jason Aquino. I just came from uh, Wisconsin, Wausau, Wisconsin. So uh, here I am. There he is. And he brought his little life. pet turtles in, so we got along good. We, he collects tortoises like we do. So, and, uh, so we're going to have a good time here. And so right now, uh, we're going to just check him out and see what he's got going here. Um, we've got his motor warmed up. We're going to just tighten these up just a little bit more. This is what's going to lift you off the ground, so we want to make sure those go just a little bit tighter there. That's about good. You don't want them too tight. You want to be able to run. Let's get your uh, suspension on. Probably want that. I'm just spitballing here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's just uh, make sure everything's good. Check you out. Looking good. You nervous yet? No. All right. Good. All right. You know the drill, right? No. Okay. Let, let's just kind of uh, go over it. We've done the ground schooling twice. Yeah. We've watched. Uh, we've watched uh, safety videos. We've been in the simulator. Uh, we've been in a lot of kiting. Your kiting is amazing, by the way. That Thank He did really good at his kiting. Uh, by the second day, we had him jogging across the field with a perfectly level wing. So he's got that down. But I start getting him in the air right away. Um, once they've got a little bit, I don't need them to master the kiting before they make their first launch. Because I do something the other instructors don't do. I like to assist them to make it a little easier for the first few flights. Uh, I don't want them to have to think about kiting or when to turn around. A lot of people will argue that. And, and, uh, but I like to get them up in the air. They've already been trained on how to steer, stay on the throttle and throttle control, getting in the seat. We've done all that in the simulator. So they've already been trained for up there. So during the day after each flight is when we do the kiting because we don't fly midday. So we just focus on. And by the end of the week, they've had flights in the whole time they've been training uh, because, again, they've already been trained for up there. Um, once we leave the ground, uh, we're going we're gonna to give you a good wing. I'm going to pull the wing up in front of you. You're going to walk in front of If I shake my head, no, that means you don't have a good wing. I'm just going to let you know that it's not good. Just kill the motor. We'll lay it down. We'll reset it. If it's looking good, you'll see me nodding, but that doesn't mean get on the throttle yet. I'm going to say, I'm going to nod, and then I'm going to say, go, go, go. Now, just because I say it fast doesn't mean you mash that throttle, remember? It's smooth, steady, and all the way. Let it take. Don't lift your legs. Don't bend your legs. That makes you instantly heavy. That's why you see guys dip and drop when they go in. Uh, because they're helping it into the air. We're not. We're going to keep running until we're 10 feet in the air and we'll have a nice smooth takeoff. When I leave you off, when I say go, 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 you're going to roll that throttle on. Even if I'm standing in front of you, I want you to run over my chest. I'll get out of your way. I've done this a couple times, so we'll get, I'll, get, I'll get out of your way. But when I say go, don't hesitate. Start getting it there at the same speed we did in the simulator over and over and over. Okay? Don't, don't fart around. We don't want it dropping back behind you. I will tell you at the most optimal time when to start getting on that, on that, on that throttle. So once it starts coming up, boom, you're going to start rolling on. Stay in a straight line. Stay on your heading. And it won't even have time to go bad. Don't lift those feet. We won't be buying any props for this thing. So good, bad, or ugly, we're going to be putting this on YouTube. So you got to look pretty right off the bat. So if it goes ugly, it goes ugly. But if it goes good. But your confidence level is pretty high, so I think it's going to, I think it's going to pan out. Let's get the helmet on you. I've got you set up. Uh, I've pre-kited your wing so you're directly into the wind. And I set up the wing for you this time. I like everything just to be exactly the way I like. 
We have about a two mile an hour breeze and it's gentle and it's soft and we had an overcast day all day so the winds have been very low and uh, nice and smooth up there and I just flew a little bit ago and it was pretty good up there and it's, it hasn't changed direction. That seems a little bit loud but you're going to want to hear me when you're talking. I know it's a little bit loud at first but uh, my voice is going to be the sweetest thing you ever heard once you get up there. <laughs> all right we're going to put this in here. If we lost radio contact, you should know how to hit 30 acres of grass. Oh, yeah. After what we've been through and the demonstrations you've seen yep. and your ground schooling, it's still your responsibility to hit this field. Yeah. No overreacting with the brakes, that gets you rocking. If it leaves the ground rocking, stay on the throttle. Do not try to correct it, you'll only make it worse, okay? Let's do a radio. I'm gonna do a radio check, give me one second here. Check, check, check. Loud and clear? Yeah, that's good. Super loud or too loud? That's pretty loud. Pretty loud? Okay, how about now if I just lower my voice? That's good. Okay, that's what I'll do then. Okay, we're going to go up and step in here like we're going to do a forward launch. Step in like we're going to do a forward. Step back inside. Okay. I'm going to connect you up. Hold that for me. Just the way you're going to be flying. Okay, we'll let this go down. Just keep that right there. Step back a little further. Okay, give me that. Radio check one more time. Loud and clear. I got you. Good job. Remember, our hands are going to be at about chest level. If we raise them up, we have to run twice as fast to get off the ground. We're going to keep them down here. Keep stability to the wing, you can get off in half the distance, half the speed that these other guys are doing running with their hands above their head. We don't want to do that. We want to keep our brakes on. It's like pulling back on the yoke of a plane when you're going down the runway. You want to pull back, get that little extra lift that you need. Also makes you more stable to run. Okay, let's pray. Father, watch over them, keep them safe up there. Put a hedge of protection around them. We thank you for this great day. We thank you for what you did on the cross. Amen. Amen. Have fun up there, brother. Thank you. Hoorah. Let go of the steering and get in the seat quickly. Let go of the steering, get in the seat. That a boy. Get in there. Back on the throttle. Steering back in your hand. Don't panic. There you go. A little bit of right turn. Keep your thumb away from that kill switch. I heard you hit it. I heard you hit the kill switch for a second. That a boy. Looking good. Kick your feet if you can hear me. Kick your feet if you can hear me. Okay, excellent job, excellent job, excellent job. We're going to pause the uh, camera for a second, and we'll come back for his landing. That was beautiful. 
All right. Love it. <laughs> that one right there. This is Flight Junkie 1154. My wife, 64. Uh, I didn't tell her it was my fault. I was so excited about him coming in for a landing. We didn't get it on film, but there he is. And uh, what did you think about that, dude? I loved it, man. <laughs> I love flying. That you did awesome. good. Your takeoff was awesome. Did you feel it? I didn't. Yeah, it was, it was perfect. T Tell me what you think about that sensation when your feet actually leave the ground. Oh, it's, you're like a bird. You're just weightless. And you know that you're there. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Good it. job, brother. Hey, man. Thank you. <laughs> Semper, Woo Semper Fi, brother. <laughs> and it's 1164. 1164. This is Flight Juggy 1164. <laughs> Welcome to the family, brother. <laughs> Woo! Outstanding.